And welcome back. Well, when you think of movie stars with the rebel reputation, you may think of Charlie Sheen, Russell Crowe, Colin Farrell, maybe Sean Penn. But long before those guys, in fact, back in the 60s, a former street tough became a Hollywood icon. I mean, here he was, the king of cool. He had this, this thing that he was a big rebel. And then when I saw the man, he was just so humble and so nice. That man was Steve McQueen. The year was 1968, and Tony Piazza was just 13 years old. His dad, shown in this photo, standing to the left of McQueen, was a San Francisco cop. And my dad was assigned to work with motion pictures and, and television companies that come into the city. And Bullet, of course, was the big film that came in in 1968, and he was assigned to it. So we were able to go down there, and I was able to meet Steve McQueen, and I was able to watch a lot of the film being shot. This was one sequence Tony witnessed, part of the now famous chase scene. You know, the, the chase itself took two weeks to shoot, and I think it ran under, a little under ten minutes. The final day of shooting, a Dodge and a Mustang were connected with a release bar. As they raced down a hill, the Dodge was supposed to separate and then careen off the road and explode. But there was a problem. What happened is the special effects man got carried away and he set it off too soon. McQueen was present for the shoot but wasn't driving the Mustang. That was a stunt double. After the shooting wrapped, McQueen sent Tony's father a gift, a picnic basket and a note. Okay, it says, uh, Dear Tony, it would be impossible for me to thank you enough for the great contribution you have made to the whole company during our stay in San Francisco. Warmest regards, Steve. One of many gestures that Tony remembers to this day. Um, he was just a very, very thoughtful man, and uh, that's why I'm just so impressed. Obviously made a real impression. Tony Piazza later wrote a book about his time as a teen watching the filming of Bullet in San Francisco. He called it Bullet Points, appropriately, and gave all of the proceeds to the Boys Republic, a school for troubled youth in Chino Hills that Steve McQueen himself had, in, in fact, attended when he was 14 years old. McQueen says that place turned his life around, and later that became one of McQueen's favorite charities. And you can find out more about all this at bulletpoints.com. We also have a link on our website at ksby.com. Time right now is 624. We're back with more right after the break.